right, let's uh, let's talk about boots. Why not? <laughs> We're joined now by Senator Kyle Loveless. You just ended the legislative session, but you're still very busy with a very different job. Your family's business. What exactly does your family do? Well, uh, we're a third generation family business. My grandfather started shoe repair shop in 1947 in, uh, uh, in the stockyards area. And my dad took over in 19, uh, it smells of leather, of that course. Is, you, you weren't <laughs> supposed to mention that. I snuck oh, it. Sorry. I snuck it while anyway, I was Anyway, there's a picture of my grandfather really in 1947. Wow. And we, we, uh, he started a little 10 by 10 shoe repair shop. And it's grown to, we now have a 33,000 square foot international facility. We do customers all over the world. We have uh, uh, veterans clients that we've never met before and it's celebrity clients and things like that. And so it's, it's kind of like what I call, it's, uh, you know, it's Oklahoma story and that it's grown out of nowhere. So Really, really neat. And you mentioned that several celebrities, yes, I, I snuck a, <laughs> snuck a, <laughs> snuck a st sniff. They smell really good. There but, is President wow. uh, George W. Bush. He's a client of ours, him and his father both. Um, we, we've made boots for his family for a long time, and so. And we there know is, that guy. If you remember uh, a couple years ago when we played the Spurs in the fi in the Western oh, okay. Finals, when the governor challenged the, uh, Charles Barkley, uh, she called us and had us make him a pair. So he's the, that's the pair he wore on set. So. We have several pictures. That's my dad we can as just, well. We can just scroll through those, but that's really, really cool. And not only the celebrities, but also military and veterans. Correct. We, uh, uh, that's one of the aspects that's made our company grow in the last 10, 15 years. And that's a picture of my family. Um, and th those are some nice creative ones. But the, the veterans, uh, the government, if you're disabled, uh, will we'll guarantee that you get orthopedic footwear because that's primarily okay. what we do. So people that have amputations or disfigurement because of their service, we make them orthopedic footwear all across the country. So we don't even meet them. Sometimes they send us casts or molds and we make it into a pair of shoes, shoes or boots. Wow, for them. absolutely. And so neat, especially as we just celebrated Memorial Day yesterday. That's right. um, and that is a well, mold. We, one thing that's different about us, you, there's uh, hundreds of boot makers across the country, but we're the only one that takes actual mold of your foot. So instead of you coming in and say, I make I, or wear a size 12 E or whatever, mm -hmm. we actually take a mold and then build the shoe or boot around it. So it's the uh, it's completely custom made to your feet. I was going to ask you, how, how are your boots different than something you could go maybe buy at the mall or a Western wear? Completely handmade from start to finish in South Oklahoma City. Unbelievable, really neat. How do you balance boots and bills? I mean, you've got <laughs> leather and, and legislature. legislature. Yeah. That is, I'm wrapping up the, my first term, I'm in my fourth year, and it's mm -hmm. still a matter of juggling. That being a dad and running the family business, you know, going back and forth to the Capitol at the end of the day, sometimes and on the weekends sure. to the family business, that's the, one of the biggest challenges and it's something that I, I, I've tried to do well and hopefully it will continue to do so. Sure, and before we do run out of time, we wanna ask, are you happy with how things ended at the legislative session just wrapped up on Friday? Of course, tackling the budget, the education crisis. Are you content with where things stand right now? No. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I, to me, it's one of those things where I think Oklahoma deserves a lot better. I voted no on the budget. I think that uh, there's a lot of reforms that could have taken place. There were money where we could have saved, reforms that could have happened that didn't. To me, it was like a missed opportunity. And a lot of times you just miss it because there's 100 members of the House and 47 of the, of the Senate. So it is, it is a compromise in politics, is that? And sometimes you just get frustrated. And, and I did get frustrated this session, I'll just yeah. be honest with you. I think a lot of people, I think a lot of Oklahomans are, fr are frustrated and teachers, mm -hmm. and it's just, you know, kind of the, the situation that we're in right now. Senator Kyle Loveless, thank you so much for coming back on Glad our show in less of a, an official capacity, <laughs> talking about boots instead of the bills, but we certainly appreciate it. What a cool Oklahoma staple that your family has thank built. You. Thank you very much.